efficiency in working capital management please remember for any business irrespective of the industry irrespective of the product irrespective of the location irrespective of the form irrespective of the organization structure efficiency in working capital management is extremely crucial for the long term sustainability of a business how to figure out the efficiency uh, in the working capital management of a business so number one what we do we calculate a ratio that is known as number of days inventory carried and how do we calculate the number of days inventory is carried so we will divide the amount of inventory uh, that the company is carrying uh, by the figure of cost of goods sold divided by 365 so this will tell us at any point in time as to how many days of inventory that we are carrying please remember uh, lesser the amount of inventory that we carry better is the working capital management of the business more inventory that we carry in business worse is the management of working capital of the business so that's number 1 number 2 what we do we calculate number of days receivables outstanding meaning what meaning at any at any given point in time how much of our capital is locked up in our receivable how do we calculate this so we will pick up the figure of receivables and divide this figure of receivables by the uh, outcome of sales divided by 30, 365 so these receivables that we carry divided by the per day of sales and that will give us an idea as to at any given point in time how many days of receivables that we are carrying i am sure you will understand it very easily jitne din jitna kam receivable ka amount hamare liye hoga utna ye hamare liye acha hai jitne zyada din ka receivables hum carry karenge jitna ab receivables ka amount zyada hoga utna ye bad working capital management hai so that is the number 2 that you will find out that you will use for calculating efficiency in working capital management and number 3 what we'll do we'll look at the number of days of payable outstanding now yahan pe situation thodi reverse ho jayegi so how do we calculate the number of days payable outstanding we will pick up the figure of payables and divide the figure of payables by the outcome of ebitda cost divided by 365 so that means payables divided by per days ebitda cost and that is going to be our uh, number of days payable outstanding now yahan par yaad rakhiye jitna ye number of days payable outstanding zyada hoga so much better and jitna ye kam hoga so much uh, not good and why not good because agar aapka if the payables at any given point in time let's say for example you are you are a company which is making profit and uh, doing well paying to all your creditors on time और ऐसी हालत में अगर आपके कंपनी के जो पेबल्स हैं वो बहुत कम हैं दैट मीन्स यू आर नॉट यूजिंग द ट्रेड क्रेडिट एज अ सोर्स ऑफ फंडिंग यू आर यूजिंग द बैंक फाइनेंस एज अ सोर्स ऑफ फंडिंग व्हिच इज एक्सपेंसिव सो फॉर यू टू कम टू अ कंक्लूजन एज टू हाउ एफिशिएंट इज द वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ दिस बिजनेस वॉट यू विल नीड टू डू यू विल नीड टू लुक एट द फिगर ऑफ पेबल्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ नंबर ऑफ डेज सो जितना ज्यादा नंबर ऑफ डेज का पेबल होगा उतना ज्यादा वर्किंग कैपिटल इज एफिशियंट सो दिस इज हाउ यू विल इवेल्युएट दी एफिशियंसी इन वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू डू ए स्मॉल केस ऑन दिस विद एवरी वन ऑफ यू अनफॉर्चुनेटली दी वर्चुअल मेड मेक्स इट लिटल डिफिकल्ट बट विल जस्ट ट्राई वेरी क्विकली 